Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with the next episode, or rather the first episode of Moon Knight with Oscar Isaac. Really excited about this show. Um, I kind of prepped it by watch not watching, reading some of the comic books. Uh, I forgot exactly which one, but I think it was a short, like, six issues, um, just kind of an intro, get a little vibe for what the character's like. Didn't really do his backstory too much, but it did really get me a little idea and got me more excited about the character. Not that I wasn't already, but um, so yeah, I'm really um, looking forward to this. I think this is a good direction for Marvel to go because I think it feels like it's going to touch on some more mature themes, maybe some darker vibes. Um, kind of like how Deadpool was in that rated R um, way, just and like Wolverine or Logan, that movie, um, even though it's not MCU, but you know. So I think this is kind of going to show us some of the darker side and in, in touch on it. So I'm curious to see how this show takes that, um, how far it goes. But yeah, other than that, I'm ready to get to it. Um, my name's Zell, just real quick. I react to all sorts of things, but mostly Star Wars and Marvel stuff has been my forte lately. So um, thanks so much for being here and let's take a look. Interesting. Some old artifact, artifact ancient stuff. The boots. Oh, I love doing that. Nope. Okay. Don't tell me you're gonna put those on, are you? It's happening. In case you're, uh, numb to feelings and you wanna kinda wake up, there you go. Maybe the Sith should do this. Constant pain and feed off of it. Many questions I have. Okay, well, that's quite the intro. Oh. Why is there a brace on if he can just take it off? I didn't know he had such that accent. Oh. That's so interesting. The personality is very, like. <laughs> Except for the heart. How come? Well, because they believed you needed your heart to be judged in the the field of reeds. And did it suck for you? Getting rejected from the field of reeds? Well, that don't make sense, because I'm not dead, am I? Stevie. Am I? I bet not be you again. Oh, sorry, don't I? I to do. Yeah, oh, he works at the gift shop. Things. To children. Right. Right. My right. next tour's here, but just checking. We still on for seven tomorrow? Are you asking me out? You're funny. <laughs> I'll see you then. Bring those Clearly, there's here, things happening he's yeah, not sure. remembering. Car wedding. Nice guy. Yeah, mate. Scotty? Yeah. Steven? With a V? I don't even know about it until I wake up wherever. That's why I try and stay awake at night. <laughs> what do you think? I guess. That Carl's poor guy. Is he gonna budge? Excuse me. Tomorrow, sorry. Could you take a picture of us? Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Yeah, Thank cheers. You. Make sure to pay. Oh, don't forget the tip. Oh, yes. If I am gonna have a girlfriend at some point. That guy's good. Obviously can't have ankle restraints on my bed, can I? Alright, later. It's kind of sad, but sweet, because, uh, interesting. You see that? Kind of like reflection, showing like a parallel. Okay, so he's clearly is familiar with all this stuff. So he thinks maybe at night he travels, he moves. Keep your mind alert and focused. So he doesn't even want to sleep. Try a book. Oh no. Oh no. His jaw, was his jaw broken? Go back to sleep, worm. Hello? The idiot's in control.
Did you? Hello. He fell out that window. Oh yeah. Don't just stand there. Run. I wonder who's that voice in the head. Uh, are those people all walking strangely in the same direction, or is it just me? Oh, there's the glass dude. It's Ethan Hawk. Uh oh, is this a cult town? of a good man <laughs> what happens if it's not a good man or woman uh oh I'm sorry I've been good I believe you but the scales see everything oh he just consumed her her life do I have a meat uh oh. Mercenary. Mercenary? No, no, I'm not a mercenary. You will give him nothing. Here, take it. He was Ow! I helped to chew the same thing. Oh, God! I'm trying to take my legs! I'm trying to stop! My legs are moving! Oh, poor guy! Oh, I'm trying to take my legs! I'm trying to take my legs! No. The idiot's back. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. No. All right. <laughs> oh, this poor guy. Oh, he doesn't have his license. <gasps> Yummy cupcakes. No, please. Don't hurt the chickens. No, the cupcakes! Wake up, Mark! If he loses the scarab, I'll kill you both! I don't understand what's happening! Talk, stupid! I'll kill you both. So it's like a split personality, but also like a third... ...hiding in there. Is he going backwards? He's like. Rude. Uh oh. What? Is this like a past life of his? He's got. He's got a full-grown arm. Like I said yesterday, they like, what? 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 What do you mean yesterday? I wasn't here yesterday. Yeah, all right. Look, as I said... Wait, is, that, is that clock right? No, that's impossible. I just woke up. Are you mad? The fish is wrong. The time is wrong. You're not quite Sorry, right. Sorry, I've got a date. Please, please do not accidentally blend him. Take time. Yeah, I ate steak by myself, thanks. I Two days ago. Friday, today. Right. Welcome to Sunday. Come on, no. Lose my number. <laughs> Cheers. Sad. So he lost like two days. Delicious. Poor guy. Oh my gosh. I mean, his jaw is obviously better. You want some? A cell phone, a key. Oh. Layla, 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 Layla. Do chomp. Answer it. I've been texting and calling you for months. You couldn't give me any sign that you were okay. I thought something happened. I just found this phone in my flat and I'm just trying to figure out what? whose it is. What is with this accent? What? What is happening right now? <laughs> Sorry. What's wrong with you, Mark? What did you just call me? No, 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 no. Come on. Come yeah, on. I'm confused. I never got this origin story. Gosh, you're brave. What, are you gonna smack him with the phone? Ah, uh, it's still looking at him. Stop looking. Why would you get in the elevator? Uh... Hello? Woo! Why 
Thank you. I've lost my contact, mate. Are we back on the fifth floor? Yes, the fifth. My friend Claire lives here. I'm visiting her. She's expecting me. That poor guy. Oh my god, he's real. Who, what, when, where, why? Imagine my surprise to find you here. Excuse me, Ronnie. This man right here, he's been following me. No, I don't know. Prince Amit. Great. Thank you, Ronnie. Gives the people no chances. To... What about all these people? Was she? By indolent fellow gods. Oh. By even her own avatar. Avatars. Mm. The blue people. Love that film. By avatar. You mean that? I mean. <laughs> anime. Steven. Stop. <laughs> Are you going to kill me? Oh no. You're good. Be good. There's chaos in you. There's what? <gasps> uh. Let him. Oh, look at those markings on the wall. That's so cool. Wow. Well, that was really awesome. Uh, way different than I expected in the sense of like, uh, the origin story is a little different. I don't know if they adapted it differently or if there's different versions in the comics uh, or if I just didn't get the very beginning. But yeah, very much we're seeing these split identities. This Stephen, who is British, lives in London, works at a gift shop and then there's this mark personality which clearly had another life had been missing for months is familiar with this woman named Layla and then there's also this I'm assuming obviously Egyptian god identity that is that voice um, that's also living there now they mentioned avatar so I think it's suggesting that the gods are using that their body as like a vessel as like an avatar to act out their will or goals or whatever and then obviously there's moon knight but it seems that mark is taking up the mantle of moon knight so it's gonna be cool as they expand on this there's like multiple layers to it there's the whole ethan hawks character which we're not familiar with his name is that i recall i guess his name is arthur or maybe not but anyways this ethan ethan hawks character is clearly like this leader of this like cult this like following that is um believing in um amulet whatever um this the uh, egyptian boogeyman as stephen put it or the um very seeking of justice uh, egyptian god and she looks at the past the current and the future and judging them all and those acts even things that they have yet to commit clearly getting rid of them so they believe in this cause everyone that are followers of this um and but he clearly has this power that is given to him to pass the judgment so i'm imagining he is the vessel for her it seems at least this god but yeah this god um i can't remember the name but the one living within moon knight uh which i think is taken up the bird the beaked one is uh trying to counter that at some degree the scarab obviously represents something but we have yet to know but she's trying to obviously access it for something it sounds like an exchange maybe a full full exchange of maybe her coming into being coming into fruition to have all power in this reality interestingly is that he's they seem to be able to harness this the dog anubis i don't know if it's just an egyptian creature like a, a mummified dog or if it was supposed to be anubis or whatever because i think he's like the dog version but um so it's interesting to see that so multi-layered in that there's characters we're familiar with he's following 
the whole Egyptian god and, and their um, abilities, such as the vessels and the powers that bestow on that. And then um, obviously the whole different dynamic personality complex of Stephen Mark. Is this something that existed in him before the god became part of him? Was this identity newly created to protect Mark? Is there, is, is Mark, I think, Mark, I, if I recall, is like the beginning, the original source of this body and identity. And then Steven might have been taking on a new identity to protect Mark to thus protect, I don't know. We're going to find out. But that's the most interesting part to me so far, because that concept's really cool. And the Moon Knight character obviously is very cool. And we still don't know very much about Mark himself. Um, and all those other things. Um, in the little credit scene, they showed three faces, essentially, representing the three potential identities or facades that this, the vet, that body, the vessel of Stephen Mark Moon Knight takes on. So, um, very cool. I'm excited for more. Very good show. Again, shows themes of, I think it shows, it's showing more blood. I mean, we obviously saw blood say like, one that comes to mind is obviously Falcon um, Winter Soldier is that we got to see um, a whole bunch of like violence and blood in that one. Um, and we saw obviously bits of it in here. So I'm ex interesting to see how they expand on that. Um, the themes do, themes do seem mature. Um, hasn't gone to, hasn't gone to levels of Deadpool yet, but it'll be interesting. Um, regardless, it's a very fun concept and I'm excited for it. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the my reaction and commentary. How do you like this show so far? Are you excited? There's something you're hoping they'll touch on. It, are you familiar with Moon Knight? Um, yeah, I had never heard of this character before until maybe a couple of years ago when they first announced it and other people mentioning this character. Um, and I'm really enjoying Marvel introducing um, and, and same for DC, introducing characters you might not have always been familiar, familiar with. So new abilities, less talked about, but clearly really interesting characters. So yeah, I am really liking it. So thanks guys again for watching. If you want to show your support, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see more, I will continue to be watching the Moon Knight. Of course, when Kenobi comes out, if you're a Star Wars fan, I will be watching that once it comes out in May. And also don't forget to check out my other socials. If you want to keep up to date with my um, content, whether it's um, my videos on YouTube or streaming, Twitter's a good place for that. I will sometimes post if there's a change in scheduling and such. Um, and then also if you want to catch some live streams, my ch Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Zell, that's X-E-L-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Um, check it out if you want to see um, I either will just chat with guys, I'll answer questions if you have anything to ask, and then I'll play a random variety of games. So that's it. Thanks again. Be well, and I'll see you on the next one.